Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be continuing what if Naruto had the shield from Rising of the Shield Hero. And without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to leave a like anyway. So, um, after Naruto and Sasuke finish training, Naruto heads back to the Higa compound. And when he gets there, he goes to sleep, of course, because it's late. But when he wakes up the next day, he like he's he doesn't wake up by himself. It's like he's like woken up by like an alarm of sorts. And like as Naruto starts frantically looking around to see where this like loud noise is coming from, he sees like it's like uh, it's like smoking not too far away from like it's like right outside the Leaf Village wall. Like there's an active fight. So Naruto's thinking to himself, and he was like, "Is that because like somebody like did somebody?" leak our routes to the like as he's heading over there he's thinking about it like did somebody leak our like something like what happened so when he gets onto the top part of the wall he sees like it's a, um it's like a small group of like 30 not a small group but it's like a group of 30 uh mission will be fighting a decent size uh, uh leaf force and he sees that kakashi's down there so he gets down there and he uh he uh activates his little his chakra blade and he, he starts fighting people and kakashi like he see he notices naruto being down there and he works his way over there and he tells him like glad to see that you're actually on the battlefield and going all out this time and um kakashi like he looked like not kakashi naruto looks at um him and he's like bro what's that supposed to mean and kakashi was like i don't know behind you and uh naruto uh, blocked the dude that threw a kunai at him like he blocked the kunai and Kakashi tells them like like they'll talk after this and I'm gonna say like the fight lasts for a little like five minutes just about and like when they like when Naruto and Kakashi start heading back into the leaf village they see like there's like this little weird mass on one of the walls and as they get closer to it Kakashi realizes what it is and he tells Naruto to try to put up one of them little shields and Naruto, like, as he's looking at it, he notices it, too, and he instantly starts trying to put shields around it. And, like, Kakashi tells him, like, I'll be right back. And Kakashi disappears. And when he reappears, he has, like, this little, like, this little kit. Like, and Naruto, like, what are, you, what are you planning on doing with that? And he's like, I don't know. Um, this is just to see what type of bomb it is. And, like, Kakashi, walk, like, he, get, he tries to someone get closer to it. And he takes a piece of it off to see what it is. And it's just like, it's just a regular high explosive charge, but it's still a bomb. So they have to make sure. So, um, like Akashi, like tells Haruzen and Haruzen was like, so what's like, what, what, where is it at? Like, is it next to a civilian area or is it like right outside the gate? And Kakashi tells him like, it's over back by like where the industrial part is. And Kaka like Haruzen's thinking like, cause if that blows up, it could take out like, a factory or something and they can't have that not while they're in the middle of a war so um he looks at naruto and he tells him like use that little ball thing that you do and naruto was like what and he's like that thing that you use to chop choji in that one time and um naruto looks at him and he's like how did you and not like as he's like saying it Haruzen tells him, like, at the same time, I'm the Hokage. I know everything. So he, um, he tells Naruto to go see if that'll work. So, like, they get back to where the bomb is. And <laughs> at this point, it's gained a slight crowd because it's, it's a big, it's a big bomb. So, um, at this point, it's gained a slight crowd of Shinobi. Because, like, they, they'll be walking out there, they'll see it, and they'll be horrified because they know what it is almost instantly. So, um... When Naruto gets there, he like he tries to put like his little ball and chain thing around it. But at this point, Choji is also there. So when Choji sees Naruto, he's like, "Oh, like what is he gonna do?" And when he sees Naruto like trying to encase the the bomb, he, like he starts gritting his teeth. And um, Kiba look like looking at him and he taps him. And he's like, "Yo, you good?" And he's like, "Yeah, uh, man, like I'm fine. Don't worry about it." And Kiba like he's thinking to himself like maybe maybe choji isn't in the right mindset and um like as naruto is doing this um i'm gonna say shikamaru like kind of glances over there toward uh kiba and choji and he sees it too so he's like okay so there's clearly something going on here 
and like uh Shikamaru walks off and uh Ten Ten asks him where are you going and Shikamaru tells him like yeah he just has things to take care of and like Choji kind of says like yeah like what not being on the front lines not risking your life and he's like no more like just saving yours uh from being overran you know because of Miss Village it's a whole village and they send out troops like you know and we're um, patrolling anyway we're still on the defensive basically and I <laughs> Choji kind of like as he like, as Sikramaru's walking off he's thinking like wait wait like what is what is his problem and like as he's saying this like Kiba looks at him like bro are you serious what do you mean what is his problem you don't like one of the most <laughs> okay and like he just kind of stopped so like he just kind of stopped talking and Choji was like no nah, bro what is it and Kiba kind of like just starts going into detail like you don't like one person you know that's basically everybody other like every other person's friend he's strong he's cool I just don't like him and Choji was like right and I don't like him and like Kiba like starts to ex tries to explain it better. He's like, bro, you don't like him like way more seriously than I do. Like you, you, you went to extreme lengths to make this man mad, to make uh, like to make this guy mad. And at this point, everybody is hearing him. So like Naruto, as he's encasing this thing, he's finally like, yes, finally somebody has seen it from my perspective. Like Choji has done some questionable things. So. Choji, like, as, like, he's saying, like, as Kiba's saying this, Choji's like, man, I don't, like, that don't matter. Um, you know, especially after, you know, um, this, ha like, after this war is over. And, like, Choji kind of forgot what type of setting they were in. And when he said it, he kind of caught himself halfway through it, but not really. So, like, Kiba kind of stops. He was like, what do you mean by that? And, like, Choji was like, nothing, nothing. It was nothing. And, like, a few other shinobi were like, nah, I was clearly something. What was that, uh, Choji? And, like, he started, like, he started sweating a little bit. And then, like, the bomb somewhat goes off before, Na like, Naruto had it somewhat encased. But he was, like, he was trying to do it to where, he was trying to do it to where he was encasing it from the Leaf Village side. So that way, if the bomb did explode, it would explode outward. So it like it blew up and it created like a huge dust cloud and like it injured a few people, but most of all it gave Choji and like it gave Choji enough time to like you know just get out of there like die down like let shit die down for a little bit because he slipped up and like as he's like trying to get away from the area like an Ambu member like he, he sees an Ambu member and he like he tries to go in the other direction and he sees another one. And he turns around to go in the other direction and another one. And then he turns around and he sees Haruzen. And Haruzen tells him, like, I don't see why you would betray the Leaf Village. This is the place where your own clan calls home. For years they've called this place home. But yet, you would betray the Leaf Village. And Choji, like, as he's trying to explain himself, he was like, no, I wasn't betraying the Leaf Village. I was betraying Naruto. Like, we don't mess with him anyway. And, like, Karuzin tells him, like, that's it. You fail to understand. You don't have to. You do what you're told. But you decided to go out of your way and make trouble. You release classified information. And most of all, you put the lives of your own shinobi at risk. I can't let that stand, Choji. And Choji, like, he's trying to tell him, like, I, you know, like, I can do better, bro. Like, you, you know, it was just a slip up. He won't mess with Naruto no more. He won't, he won't try to get Naruto killed or anything like that. And, like, Choji, as he's saying this, Haruzen kind of, like, he looks over at the other shinobi and he was like, did you get all of that? And the, uh, one of the, like, one of the dudes, basically, he's like a recording. Ambu member, like, he could record everything that happens in a room, basically. And, like, replay it back in, like, perfect. Yeah. So, 
Like he um he's like, yeah, I got everything. And he's like, good. Get this kid out of my face. And Haruzan turns around, and the minute Haruzan turns around, somebody executes Choji. And um like he's like he starts walking back toward the like the leaf village. And everybody sees Haruzan comes out the woods and they're like, why did you come out of the woods? And Naruto and like a few other skilled shinobi kind of noticed Kiba's, not Kiba's, but Choji Chakra disappear shortly after Haruzan Chakra appeared. So they kind of got the, they kind of got the idea. And like, um, Kakashi's looking like I've, I've never seen Haruzan this involved with something before. Like, dang, you just outright killed the dude. And like he, like he starts, I mean, he tells uh, Naruto and uh, Kakashi to come with him. And he also tells an Anbu member to grab Kiba, you know, underneath suspicion because Kiba was one of Choji's closest friends. So they get to, um, they get to their little, uh, they get to the Choji, like Choji's clan compound thing. And um, like when they find Choji's parents, they relay the message that he um like that he basically told them. And Choji's parents, they, they like they messed up because they actually liked Naruto. They was confused as to why Ki uh, Choji did it, and they was also confused as to why Kiba didn't tell them what their son was doing beforehand. And Haruzen was like, "Don't worry," and he puts his hand on Kiba's shoulder and was like, "We'll take good care of Kiba." And they leave like um his room, like they leave um their house, and like Choji's dad was like he didn't approve. Well, Choji's mom like he didn't approve of them killing Choji. She openly said that to Haruzen, but she gets it. He he put the he put the lives of so many people at risk for what reason? And like as um. Kiba, like, is he's trying to explain why he doesn't like Naruto. And Haruzen, like, he's like, I don't want to hear about that. That's not what I want to hear about. I want to know everything there is to know about Choji. And if you cannot tell me anything of great value, we'll go in to look into you. And if we find anything that looks out of the ordinary, Kiba, we'll kill you. And Haruzen tells him like, you know, he gives him like this, like this long ass, like he gives him like this long scroll. And he's like, you better start writing. And we're gonna do a background check on you too. And if what you're saying is true, you just only have petty beef with Naruto. You wouldn't really risk your entire village getting taken over, over some petty beef. So Haruzen like, he kind of walks out of this room and this is where I'm going to end this part off. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. Anyway, this has been Shinobi. Peace.